L stand for? Lassie. Lassie? Yeah. Daddy hunted a dog. <laughs> All right then, Duncan. Now, what are we going to do for the ladies and gentlemen today? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get all shy on me. Now, do you want to do a poem or a song? I want to do a poem. Oh, okay then. What should we do then? Uh, the monkey's tail. Oh, the monkey's tail. You want to do that one? Yes, please. All right then. Well, I'd better get it started and you'll join in, won't you? I promise. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, that's a good boy. All right, then here we go. The monkey's tail. Are you sitting comfortably? Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. Go on. <laughs> okay. The captain had a telescope. What's a telescope, Melinda? Well, it's a, it's a kind of a spyglass, so that you look through one end and everything looks a little bit bigger because it's magnified. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Now, let me get on. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, then, darling. The captain had a telescope. That's right. <laughs> he stuck it to his eye and hoped to see an island warm and snug, a harbour that his ship could hug. But all he saw over the briny big sea was a monkey and a banana <laughs> and a huge palm tree. <laughs> the monkey ate the banana quick, quick, quick when he saw the captain's great big shore bound ship. The captain launched his dinghy with a hip, hip, hip and monkey on the banana skin did slip, slip, slip. <laughs> the captain came ashore and cried, where's that monkey that I spied in my telescope? Please tell me. Are you hiding up that old palm tree? Or have you popped off to the loo? Or won't you tell me where are you? The monkey ate the coconuts quick, quick, quick when he heard the captain's wooden leg click, click, click. The captain's pocket watch was ticking, tick, tick, tick. And the crew were getting rather bored and sick, sick, sick. <laughs> the captain thought it rather rude of monkey to ignore his crew and gobble up the nuts and nana. My word, he said. What a charmer. He said this rather sarcastically. <laughs> My pocket watch says, time for tea. Let's leave rude monkey's company and sail back toward England shores in time for pudding. Men to oars. The monkey on the beach appeared quick, quick, quick and waved his little hanky at the ship, ship, ship for he'd eaten all his food and feeling jip, jip, jip. He wished he'd stowed aboard and joined their trip, trip, trip. The monkey built himself a raft, designed by the architect, Miss Giraffe. <laughs> With steel and glass, each elevation looked like an office or a railway station. But watertight it was, so he paddled off the bay and was lost at sea. <laughs> the monkey fiercely whacked the waves, whack, whack, whack. But he couldn't get his raft attacking back, back, back. The captain's ship from far horizon slipped, 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 and in the great big briny sea, monkey dipped, dipped, drowned. Yes, he drowned. When unexpected sailors tap at your door, 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 remember that's what hospitality is four, four, four. Offer them your nanas and your nuts if they are hungry, and share your bounty fare, and don't be a red, red monkey. <laughs> Did you like that one? Yes, I do. Thank you. All right, then. Do you want to have a go at it? No, I don't. I want to sing a song. Well, I don't think we've got the time for a song as well. But, um, Duncan, why don't you say goodbye to everybody for just for, for now? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There's a good boy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.